high school football season continues today. But East Texas school districts have canceled games because of a surge in COVID-19 cases. KTK's Sarah Legre joins us live this morning from Henderson to share how this affects both the players and coaches. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Isaac. Now, before the season even started, the idea of football season becoming a reality was something that was uncertain. Now, fortunately, we're a few weeks into the season. Things are slowly getting back to normal, but now it's being put to a halt. Many school districts across East Texas are canceling their football games due to the surge in COVID-19 cases, just leaving players and coaches frustrated. Now, this has been an ongoing pattern throughout the past week. Wednesday, Henderson announced that Kaufman ISD had canceled their Friday game due to the ongoing cases of COVID. Athletic director and head coach for Henderson, Phil Castle, says they'll continue the momentum today with an inner squad scrimmage, giving players more time on the field. Now, although disappointed, they're looking forward to next week's game. The Kaufman ISD uh, determined that they did not want to play the football game. Uh, we were disappointed. Uh, our kids worked really hard in preparation for the game. Uh, our coaches were you know, really disappointed as well. Kids are going to be disappointed, and that's all right to be disappointed. That's, that's part of life as well. And so uh, we're going to work hard, and we're going to look forward to next week when we play for Spring Hill, and, and uh, we're going to do the same things we always do. Henderson is not alone. Here is a list of other districts who have canceled games. Tatum ISD canceled on Pittsburgh ISD. Hugh Springs announced on Facebook that they've canceled all their games this week and Winsboro ISD canceled their homecoming game. Now we also spoke with Tatum ISD, their athletic director, Jason Holman. He and his players are currently quarantined. They won't begin practice until September 21st. Now I'm reporting to you live in Henderson, Sarah Allegre, KTK News.